there, it's Bernadette. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I wanna to go over ujjayi and kind of the basics. And this is the way that we breathe throughout our yoga practice. So I think if you're sort of new to yoga or even if you've been practicing for a while, ujjayi can be a little bit mysterious and confusing. And so I just wanna to take today to simplify it. So let's get right to it. So ujjayi means victorious breath. And what happens is we make a gentle constriction on the back of the throat. And what that does is help us to regulate the rate at which the air flows in and out. Um, it can also be a little bit heating for the body depending on how we practice it. But really the main function is to help us regulate the pace of our breathing. And then of course we always wanna link up our movement within our breathing to have just a really intentional yoga practice. So it makes a little bit of extra sound by sort of when it vibrates on the back of our throat. So that's kind of what you're used to hearing, like maybe in a yoga class, it sounds like everyone's breathing really loud and you're like, how are they doing that? And so here's how. So I'll, I'll sort of explain it two different ways. So hopefully one of them resonates with you. So one way to sort of describe it, and we'll try it on exhale and then we'll first, and then we'll do inhale and exhale together. So one way to describe it is imagine that you're like gonna breathe onto a window and like fog up the window. So you can take your hand right in front of your mouth and then just breathe out like, and you can even feel kind of that moist air up against your hand. So that's kind of how it feels on the back of the throat. So one way to try it is um, to like blow on your hand as if you're fogging up a window and then halfway through that exhale, you're gonna close your mouth and you're gonna keep exhaling in that exact same way through your nose. So it's like <sighs> So you might have to try it a few times and exaggerate it a little, but that's what it's gonna feel like. And it's like, almost like you can feel a little vibration on the back of your throat. So you can even try it without your hand. <sighs> And you'll notice you can still hear it and you can still feel it on the back of your throat, but it's coming out your nose. So that's one way to try it. And then another way that's like very similar, um, but it just might resonate with you better. So I wanted to give both options is it's very similar to a whisper. So if you're whispering to someone and then you closed your mouth and just kept breathing that way out through your nose, it would be like this and you would keep. So you can still feel it here. It's like a whisper, except your mouth is closed. The air is coming out through your nose. So try either of those a couple times and see which one kind of feels better and works better for you. Those are just the two best ways I've heard it described. And then it's gonna be the same on inhale. So inhale's a little bit more challenging, um, but if you can get it on exhale, then you're just gonna keep that same feeling in the back of your throat as you inhale as well. So it's funny because it kind of feels like you're breathing in and out your mouth, but it's actually coming in and out your nose. So just give it a couple tries. And um, the other thing I want to say about ujjayi is I think especially if you're first starting your yoga practice, it can be really like confusing and you can forget to do it if you get into a harder posture and um, stuff like that. It can still just feel a little bit mysterious or even frustrating. So what I would encourage you to do is just try to remember to breathe that way throughout your yoga practice. And if it ever feels like stressful or anything, just breathe normally. And then during the simpler postures, you can really practice. So if you're just doing like your child's pose or kind of a really simple dynamic posture, um, you can practice your ujjayi. And then over time, it's gonna feel like second nature. You're gonna be automatically doing it anytime you're doing uh, your yoga postures. Um, but don't get too frustrated or feel like it has to be perfect at the beginning because it does take time to learn how to move and breathe at the same time and especially learn how to breathe differently and move at the same time. Um, so just take your time with it. If you ever need tips or anything else, please reach out to me. I hope this has been really useful for you. 
Um, again, questions, just leave me a comment below or just reach out to me directly. You can find me at my website at BernadetteSolar.com um, and make sure you get signed up for my email list so that you get all my little yoga videos. You can also subscribe on YouTube and I'd love to have you for an online yoga class. So if you're interested, go to my website, BernadetteSolar.com and we'll get you signed up. So thanks again for joining me today to learn how to practice Ujjayi. And I wish you the best day and I will see you next time.